Welcome to Octopus Tutorial. In this video, we are going to introduce our brand new version 7. To prepare for successful scraping experience, it's essential for you to get familiar with Octopus. Let's take a quick tour of Octopus version 7 together. After login, you would enter Octopus user interface. It consists of two main parts the sidebar navigation, and the main screen. Let's begin with the sidebar navigation. On the top is the account username. Place the mouse over your account username, you can find out your account status, and the expiration date. Right below are two handy icons. The one on the left, is for creating a new task or a new group. The one on the right, is to modify account settings. Now, let's see the navigation menu. Dashboard is the main console, where you will manage all your tasks, and access the extracted data. We would like to spend some time talking about it. Click on the dashboard item from the navigation menu. The dashboard tab will be added to the main screen. The dashboard provides a complete view of all task related information, including the task name and task status. In the status description, you can find out more task information, like how many lines of the data extracted, or, if any, that of the duplicated data extracted. Click More Actions and you would have more task managing options, such as starting, stopping a task, or setting schedules for any task. To view the data extracted in a task, you can simply click the task status, or go to more actions. For more efficient task management, you can, Customize the number of tasks displayed per page, or search any task by name. And Octopus version 7 also supports batch task management. You can start, delete, or export multiple tasks at a time. Well, that's Octopus dashboard. Let's see the other items on the navigation menu. Tools, provides extra help with XPath generation, regular expression, export to database, and data API. Tutorials, includes the abundance of learnings associated with all features in Octopus. Data service, takes care of your data scraping requests. If you are looking for additional help, like data delivery service. Contact support for any questions regarding getting data with Octopus or any other questions about data scraping. Then, let's turn to the main screen. Once you click a specific item from navigation menu or a task from the dashboard, Octopus would open a new tab on the main screen. By clicking on the tabs, you can switch between the screens, or shut down the screens. Now, let's check out the task configuration interface. Octopus version 7, offers two task creating modes. Wizard mode, and advanced mode. These two modes have different task configuration interfaces. First, let's talk about advanced mode. Under Advanced Mode, there are two modes of interface. The Select Mode Configuration Interface and the Workflow Mode Configuration Interface. The Select Mode will give you an easy start to any web scraping jobs. But if we want to see how the task is set up from the beginning, or check the previous step, to see if it was added correctly. 
we need to switch to the workflow mode. After creating a new task, Octopus would take way to the select mode interface by default. We can use the on and off button on the upper right corner. Once we switch to the workflow mode, above the built-in browser, there will be two more parts added to the configuration interface. Now, the task configuration interface consists of three parts. The built-in browser. The workflow designer and the action customizing area. Under advanced mode, once you've clicked on any elements from the page in the built-in browser, Octopus responds to you with notices and available activities and action tips. After you select the activity you need, the corresponding task action will be automatically generated in the workflow designer. Besides by clicking, you can also add a task action into the workflow by dragging and dropping. Hence, you can enjoy more flexibility while designing your workflow. Octopus offers 10 task actions to form up a workflow to achieve your specific data extraction requirements. And there are a full range of customizing options to further configure extraction actions as well as the data extracted. In the workflow designer, click one task action created. You can see all available customizing options in action customizing area. Wizard mode aims to make scraping easier and faster by predefining the general scraping processes for a few common web structures. Compared with that of advanced mode, the task configuration interface of wizard mode is very simple. Under wizard mode, a task is also built by interacting with the web page in the built-in browser. Just click on the desired data on the page. The data will be captured in the data field above. All we need to do is to follow the guidance and complete the configuration of each step. For the task you've configured, Octopus offers two extraction ways to get the data. Tasks can be set to run in local or in the cloud. You can start extraction on the task configuration interface or from the dashboard. In Octopus, you can also schedule your task to run as frequently as you need to retrieve the most updated information. That's it for the Octopus version 7 introduction. Now, you've known where to start a new task, where to check your data when the extraction is done, and where to get help when you need it. Thanks for watching.